delegates of the District of Columbia spoke loud and clear last November when they adopted Initiative 71. A sort of pot revolution happening here in Washington. Be a more about championships. Go. Thank you, man. Yo, God bless you. God bless you. What is the slab hour? The slab hour, we took it upon ourselves to raid the station, take away that stigma on marijuana, show you the culture, take big slabs, push off phone homie, and get the community out there front and center. The natural defenses are crumbling. Now is the time to introduce the joint. Must come up. Ladies and gentlemen, Washington, D.C. and worldwide, Phone Homie presents The Slab Hour. Make some motherfucking noise! Ah, Lee. There we go. Everybody's so damn busy looking at the motherfucking booth. They're not even paying attention to the show. They're like, fuck this fucking show. I'm more interested in getting myself right. And that's righteous because we're right here at the Slab Hour, everybody, located at 2622 Georgia Avenue, Northwest Washington, D.C., Listen Vision Studios. Turping it up and slabbing it down. <laughs> Hold aboard, you motherfuckers, you. And that's right. Happy Father's Day to all you motherfuckers. That's right. All fathers out there are absolute motherfuckers, and that's the truth. Because it wouldn't be any other way. Or, I mean, some of you might say, well, I was a mother lover. You, you having trouble with the mic there? Microphone test one, two on DJ A1 Boogie. That was the most prolific thing I ever said in my life, and everybody missed it. Yeah. So, you were in bucket hats I'll today. Never, I'll it. never have that moment back. But thanks. No. <laughs> Shout out to DZ. Yeah, DJ A Boogie on the ones and twos, uh, everybody. What up? what up? Welcome back. Uh, Thanks, bro. Good to be back. How are you? Good, 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 good. It's uh, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all those. If you're watching the show and you're actually close enough to get over here in time, grab your pops. It's uh, it's actually bring your pops to the slab hour. Get his wig twisted back day. All right, seriously. You come over to the motherfucking spot. We're gonna put your pops down. Okay. If you're a father, come on over. All right. Take the motherfucking uh, take the dab. It's there for you. All right. I'm sorry for the ladies that are accompanying the fathers. It's going to be not free i know it sucks doesn't it but it's just an emphasis to say how much we're thinking of you fathers out there because you know uh everywhere you go is ladies night this no, ladies, ladies night, night that. that there's never anything no, out there for fathers today is full price for ladies full price full retail full price for ladies today <laughs> but you know like you know you might you might have one come in here and be like well you know what I've been raising my kids. We have no father, and I was the father. Oh, well, oh, that great. was eight weeks ago, right? Lady. Yeah, you had your day. Yeah. Wait a minute. We don't split it in two. Nah. Because all the single dads out there. But I say, what's up to you anyway? I Peace. give you. I yeah. will say Happy Father's Day to you. Yep. Even though I will yeah. say, it, but it doesn't. But That's it's real still... PC of you, man. You've never been the one to. A lot has changed. Yeah. That was a real PC of you, man. All right. That's growth. That's right. It, it, you know, it's it's equality in all its fair way. Quality in all its fair way. I, I feel that way. Uh, I'm feeling pretty excited. This is episode 209, everybody. 209. We're, we're moving. We're, we're doing it. And I'm the only one clapping for it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Uh, the Slab Minute, everybody. We will do that in just a few. Uh, every Sunday, catch us right here at WLESradio.com uh, on the Slab Hour, 9 p.m. Eastern at 6 p.m. PST. On Tuesday, get the conversation flowing in snow. We're talking turfs hosted by District Dabbers at 9 p.m. as well. We don't get we don't get no no pictures for that no more. What the fuck is going on right now? Holy sh! Loading right. All right, I'm not gonna talk about anything else until we. There we go. There he is. His handsome Boricua face. Ah. The koala himself. Happy Father's Day to you, uh, District Dabbers. Happy Father's Day. Uh, yeah. So we'll be we'll be saying that a lot this day because again, pops really don't get too much. Right. My pops dipped out. Fast. Bastard. Papa was, you know, can we play Papa was a Rolling Stone at some point in the show? Possibly. Just so I can get teary-eyed. Oh, shit, man. Like, fuck. fuck you, Dad! Fuck you! I got a show now! <laughs> fuck <laughs> All right, but this is not the time for uh, Phone Homies Emotions. This is time for the Slab Hour, where we get ourselves twisted back. And thank God, because it's an emotional day for some of us, and we definitely need some of that THC to fucking swallow it down. 
Catch all the awesome gear at phonehomie.com. You can check out all the fuckery that I do at phonehomie on Instagram, Twitter, phonehomie, Facebook, phonehomie, YouTube, phonehomie presents. And uh, the Slab Hour is an interactive show. Call right into the motherfucking potline, Mom. You can call in too. Actually, you haven't been calling for the past few weeks, and you're the only person that ever calls. Uh, 202, 202-3085-271 on that motherfucking touch dial. That's 202-3085-271 to call into the motherfucking pot line. Let's make that shit hot because it's always fucking freezing cold. Actually, yeah, get those uh, distillate uh, coconut things out on the thing thing too, okay? Slab we'll talk hour. about that when we get to break. All right, for now, anybody that's goody on the table, throw them a little bit of love, you know what I'm saying? A few on things, things, and a thing, and the shit thing, thing, things. All right, cool. Chirping it up and slapping it down. I'm not ready for that. I said the, the slab minute's not going to happen for a few minutes. You're like shooting your load way too early, dude. Premature. <laughs> <laughs> all over <coughs> the screen. <coughs> Puppy Wait, water what? everywhere. This table's glowing, by the way. Is it me? Is this table's glowing? I'm too I'm too sober. All right. <coughs> uh, on Thursday from 9 to 10 p.m., look for Talk Drip Live, presented by Talking Terps. Peter Plains will lead you through the latest in streetwear and sneakers. By the way, it doesn't say this, but Talking Terps is hosted by District Gabbers, but it's presented by Phone Homie. So there's fatherhood going on there, so... Ooh, your grandfather Phone right homie, in. the slab hour. Phone homie presents District Dabbers talking terps. Mm -hmm. District Dabbers presents Talk Trip Live with Peter Plains. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day Peter Plains will be presenting something as well. So there'll be Phone Homie presents District Dabbers presents. Right. Peter Plains presents. If if a nickel bag gets uh, sold in no. Central Park, I, I want, want in. Half. I want half. I want in. Oh. That might be more than half. Don't fucking limit yourself, bro. Hey, bro, you got to shoot, shoot high. Uh, you shot low. Shot. I shot shoot. my shot. <laughs> All right. Too many shots. Get, get, get the fucking thing. Yeah, what the fuck? Come on. How shit, long bro? are you going to fucking... Yeah, come on, man. He doesn't pay for that. DZ. Fuck. DZ's entertained. Holy shit, yeah. DZ's was, back there you? giggling. Are you stoned right now, dude? You're just like staring at the fucking screen. Can we get like at least only 30 seconds on everybody else? Yeah, me? Come on, bro. If it's me, I, I need an hour. DZ's fully entertained right DZ's now. DZ's fucked right now. Uh, okay. After that, at 10 p.m., A Daint Look on the City is a show featuring a mashup of pop culture and cannabis. On Friday, Cat Stoner lighting up for the crowds on Real Weed Guys at 8 p.m. Post Meridian. Shout outs. We like to shout out at Dwell DC for any great services for any of your venue needs right here in the District of Columbia. You want a venue? These guys will set it up for you at one spot in particular. You have to go there. It's kind of on the low, but it's a dope ass spot. Shout out to weedups.co, our friends in Germany. If you don't know about weedups.co, then do Kant's Mischmal. Go make sure you've signed the change.org petition for supporting the passing of a bill. For legal sale of cannabis in D.C. at bit.ly forward slash 2-U-X-I-L capital C-E. No one's ever going to get... Oh, you got it right there on the screen. Awesome. Screenshot. Awesome. Events. Tacoma Wellness Center is open every day of the week to uh, help accommodate as many patients. Their menu has all of your cannabis needs covered, including a wide selection of flowers, pre-rolls, concentrates, edibles, and topicals. The Wellness Center is open from 12.30 to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. Find out their menu and other information about them on their website, TacomaWellness.com, or visit their Instagram at Tacoma Wellness. Uh, HR Record Store is a record store in D.C. Uh, they have records and clothing. Uh, why am I telling you this? Because I support them and I love records. There's a wide uh, selection of vinyls as well as CDs and the rights to selling uh, lots of records and vinyl and cassette tapes. Uh, the store is located on 702 Kennedy Street Northwest. Feel free to come by anytime and check out the great selection. If you have any questions, give them a call at 202-469-9868. It's a record store. Ha, uh, <clears throat> I'm not... You know what? Fuck this bullshit. Let's get stoned. All right, I'm reading too much, and I'm fucking I'm way ahead of myself. I'm going to start with this J. Let me tell you about this J first of all. Uh, so I made one of them diamond runoff cards, and I've said the story. If this story's redundant to you in the crowd, I'm sorry. But I'm not really sorry. So I found this. Uh, I, I had one of my, my cartridges leak some of the diamond runoff uh, sauce that I have, and it got caught up in a bag. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you go any further, is this going to be one of those 
Oh, all your diamond sauce runoff. I have to capture to make something fantastic. Yes. Stories. Okay. Yes. Just wanted to make so sure. basically, what happened is my mind. the diamond sauce leaked out of the cartridge, and it ended up. Hey guys, guys. I know you guys got a show going on over here, but I also got a live show going on right here, guys. So the only thing that should be loud is the motherfucking weed that I'm smoking on and that dad that he's taking and the weed that the crowd is smoking on as well. Thank you guys so much. All right. So getting back to the story, uh, the cartridge leaked into the bag. There was plenty of oil in there. So I'm thinking, like, how am I going to capture this oil? Because I want to smoke it. I'm not throwing this out. It's pure terpenes and THCA. Uh, I took a bud of do si and threw it into that bag and let the, the, the bud soak up that oil for Hold about on. three days. Hold on. You got to let the story breathe. for the. You got to let the puppies cry. Three, right I now. can't. I'm, I'm you gotta trying to. You got to let the puppies weep right now. You got to let the puppies just get all teary eyed and let this run off. Three and days. so basically. Uh, Go ahead. So I, I let it soak and then I, I finally was able to crumble it up and put it in here. So this is like super fucking fwags. Let's see how it burns. I don't Hell know how it's yeah. going to burn. Um, yeah, shout out to my Instagram live fam, always keeping it up. And make some noise, audience, live studio, live audience for yourselves, please. Please make some noise. That's right. If you're a father, if you're a father and you just came into the building, there's a free dab for you up there. All right, uh, if you're a father. Let's not cheat the system, though. We're looking for integrity here, people. Uh, that means, women, I'm sorry, even though you might have done the, uh, the impossible task of taking whoever left the milk in there finish your fucking milk you didn't oh it's the army guy of course that's mm. uh now you got two percent milk in there <laughs> he's going for skim skimmish let's just make there it, it is, yeah. i knew they touched touch something in the army <laughs> all right uh so here we are uh one other thing real quick i'm gonna go off to the side real quick i'm um, shout out to uh masonic seeds uh rocking the blue dough right now Whoa. yeah i love this fucking shirt man I, I i love this shirt so much and uh it's a cross between i got the seeds for it now it's a cross between blue dream a strain which i hate and do si do is a strain which i love so uh, it's a love-hate relationship blue I, dream yeah i'm actually yeah. very i'm actually very intrigued though that's a little that's a little backstreet boys yeah yeah blue dream that's um, a that's a little pop. That's a little pop, man. That's a little pop. Yeah, but know? I am. I'm very intrigued. Um, okay, so um, all right. So this is burning like super fucking slow. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This I think this joint's gonna take like it's gonna take a long time. Uh, okay, high times. High times is hosting the bait. High Times hosting the uh, Bay Area 2019 Cannabis Cup on June 22nd and 23rd. Not ready for it yet because we have to do a dab for that, right? We're going to come in with Chris Crazy uh, in just a moment, but let me just get through this. High Times is hosting a Cannabis Cup, uh, San Francisco, a celebration like no other. Expect great tunes, hundreds of exhibitors, informative seminars with influencers and artists, high fashion, and maybe even some infused... How do you spell that fucking... How do you pronounce that fucking chocolate name, Girardelli? Girardelli. Girardelli. You'll have to show up to find out. Girardelli, if you're fancy. The cup will be held at the Cow Palace in Daly City, California. The musical lineup uh, features Edward Shape and the Magnetic Zeros, Stick Figure... I thought he was going to say Sticky Fingers. Uh, Twiddle, and more to be announced. I have heard of none of those people. Just FYI. They're the hottest in Nebraska. Right? <laughs> but for more information and tickets for both these events, visit CannabisCup.com forward slash event. Much love to Can uh, the High Times Cannabis Cup, though. They've showed me love through all the years. Much love to Danny Danko. I've been able to judge the High Times Cannabis Cup officially for multiple years now, and uh, it's just been a great thing, man. I really do enjoy it. It's an honor. It's a privilege, and uh, I, I hope to be able to do more. Uh, Xavier Wolf's Hollow Squad Tour uh, can be headed to... See, this is this is... What, what, what's going on, man? What is going on here? How how do we still have Xavier Wolf's Hollow Squad tour that's still in here? And that's from May 17th. Somebody needs to holler at Ben. I <laughs> uh, can't be doing this. June 29th and 30th, the Glass Carnival is kicking off the summer. The Glass Carnival will be held at Spencer Fairgrounds, an 11-acre lot in Spencer, Massachusetts. Come see the glass blowing art installation hosted by Danny Camp Glass with live music, DJ games, and food. The show is meant for, uh, to highlight the art and many glass works that influence the 710-420 culture. Use their Eventbrite page or you can purchase your ticket so you won't have to worry about missing a motherfucking thing. For more info, visit their website at theglasscarnival.com and check their Instagram at the underscore glass underscore carnival. Twitter, 
at Carnival underscore Glass or their Facebook, The Glass Carnival. One word. The High Life Style Show will be held on July 5th, 6th, and 7th with recreational cannabis now legal in Massachusetts for adults over 21. Users have choice choices now and will eventually choose their favorite brands just like any, uh, just like with other consumer products. Most cannabis, uh, cannabis events are only aimed at the industry side of the cannabis uh, involving growers, cultivators, and medication. The High Life Show aims to be a gathering of innovators, influencers, brands, artists, performers, and consumers to share the High Life style in a hotel resort setting with exhibitors, vendors, concerts, comedy, education, celebrities, sampling, socializing, and networking. The show will feature performances from an array of bands and performers such as and including Tsunami of Sound on Friday, Roots of Creation on Saturday, and NRBQ on Sunday. No shit! All of those guys that I've never heard of? All of them you, you never, ever heard of <laughs> right. in your life. Right. <laughs> Can't wait. Now's the time to discover them. Exactly. Smoke one and see what's going on. All right. Open consumption of cannabis outdoors on the property will be permitted according to Massachusetts laws. Unfortunately, there will be no selling or buying of cannabis or THC products. They never say anything about THCA products. Oh! <laughs> uh -huh. Can't see me, bitch. You. All right. Show me the rules. Show me the rules. John Cena and this motherfucker. All right. Uh, I'm Swayze. The conference will be located in a hotel resort in Boxborough, Massachusetts. For more information on the events and the tickets, check out their site at highlifestyleshow.com. And learn. And actually, you have to spell it weird. Or not, or not, never mind. Highlifestyleshow.com. Uh, the next Indo Expo will be held in Portland, Oregon on August 3rd and 4th. It's a good time, actually. You get a shitload of stuff. And I think that's why a lot of people go there. They, like You get like two bags worth of shit, and they just keep giving you mad shit over there, mad promo stuff. And some of it, like five out of out of both of those bags, five items are actually like pretty helpful. What if you don't want any more, dude? They get offended? Like They're like, yo, just check out my uh, super. Yeah, and you and say, you're like, fuck oh, no. I'm good, bro. Just and say, fuck it. no. You're walking by them. It's an exhibit. Like oh, you know, okay. They got to expect some naysayers. Yeah, I got it. Some you know, you'll yeah. be the one. I will be the one. <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. I'm just here um, to see the signs. I forgot what I was saying. Now. This shit is fucking good, man. Holy shit. And it burns so evenly slow. All right. Uh, Oregon's enthusiasm and the devotion for cannabis have spawned an endless amount of business opportunities. And with uh, both medical and recreational sales legal, a focused business-to-business -business show was needed. That's kind of like ass-to-ass. -ass. Business to business. Just ass like to ass. Just like Sorry, it. Requiem for a Dream reference, everybody, if you're if it's slipping over your head. Um, on Sunday, the conference will open up to the general public. The expo will be held at Portland Expo Center from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday and from 11 to 5 p.m. on Sunday. For more info, check out their site at indoexpo.com forward slash Portland. When we come back. Uh, uh, no, you know what? Let's do a slab minute. And then when we come back, after these messages, high pot news. Uh, but, but yeah, so get that going. I mean, I got to heat this rig up and everything. I don't have the e-nail, uh, the mini nail with me right now. Uh, it's actually over there. Why is the mini nail fucking melting the quartz banger? That 680? It looks like six. Are you sure it's not 1680? 6,080? What the fuck is going on with that shit? Alright, turn it up and slap it down. Uh, the atmosphere's gotten a little bit lackluster, but that's okay. We're gonna turn it up! The turps are glowing just like Should I have reverb finger. for that? I need a reverb for that. Now I got reverb in all the wrong places. Don't hold me! I'm Chris Crazy, if you don't know me. Hold the boy! I'm turped out. I heard turp saw see out the girl's mouth. Where the pretty bitches, the ones with freckles, and that BHO there got speckles. That's poops up. Listen to me. That shatter right there don't listen to me. I'm cool, bro. I'ma watch the slab hour. And chill out for a dab hour. Motherfucker and twax everything. Married to the turps, don't you see the wedding ring? From Tacoma, the one with the K And you know we squash rosin all day Bitch, I'm on it, on it Twax in this here marijuana Bitch, I'm on it, I'm on it Twax in this marijuana Welcome to the Slab Hour 
Round banana eating. Slab hour. We're gonna smoke on some blue dino, and I got some 710 savant. The turfs are blowing just like E.T.'s finger. The goddamn dad babes gone. We'll linger. also get some Death Star for fishing. Solventless extracts. Solventless extracts. 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 Her turf saucy out the girl's mouth. Where the pretty bitches, the ones with freckles, and that B.H.O. They're not speckles. That's Boots. Yo, I swear to God. Listen to me. That shatter right there. Listen to me real quick. You best I, know I, I, hold on, hold on. Did I ask you guys this last week? Are you guys, you guys are all good to go? 100%? Why do they look like they're fresh, out, like the new kids on the block, like the Backstreet Boy band? I swear to God, man. These guys look like they walked straight out of fucking Degrassi High, man. Sunday school last time. Yeah, sun, what, yeah, Sunday school kids, man. I swear, I'm sitting there like, wait a minute. We can't, I'm about to hide the ring. Like, we can't smoke in front of you. Jesus, man. These kids are just getting younger and younger looking. Or I'm just getting older and older. Son of a bitch. What the fuck? When 21 doesn't look 21 anymore. I hope you got... Are you guys at least over 21? He's like, I just, that one's like, I just turned 21. Like like, He's like, oh, uh, yes. Midnight. Just turned, Absolutely. I just turned 21 on midnight. Yeah, on midnight on Thursday morning. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Oh, God. He's like, no, but my friend is really good at making fake IDs. <laughs> McLovin. <laughs> McLovin. <laughs> Yo, skills, man. Skills. You best know I'm about to get up all on that. All up on up that phone, all homie, on that phone homie drip. Yeah. Believe that. Believe that, motherfucker. Believe that. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. I hope this weed is going to preserve you, kids, because you look so damn young. Holy shit, I hope, you stay, I hope you stay young looking forever, man. Don't get old like me and have a big beard and try to stay cool. I got hair on my chest. What up, Betty Gooch? You out there? Betty, Betty Gooch! Roll the blunt, hit the ball, take it down, whatever, pass me them turps. I'm trying to get paid, it's time to get high, I'm already burned, pass me them turps. All right, crowd participation real quick. Turn the music a little bit lower. Crowd participation. Should I, t should I smoke the Blue Dino? And we're not doing all three. Blue Dino, 710 Savant, or Solventless Smokies. Blue Dino, I heard it. Nice, I got the Blue Doe shirt on. We're going for the Blue Dino. The, sh the table's blue. It's a blue day. It's a clue day. No? That's what Chris Crazy would say. That is what Chris Crazy would say. I'm just quoting. All right, we're going in some of this blue dino. Oh, you don't want to? You don't? You don't want to zero in? Fine. Oh my God, D's is on the on his A game today. No, don't don't zero in on my teeth. Oh, here, here, here. Turbing it up and slapping it down, you motherfuckers! Yeah. Oh yeah. You heard what I said? If not, rewind it. Underneath a rock, I'll find it. Diamond shining bright, I've been blinded. Look at the sauce of the juice. Rock, ride the turf town on the caboose. It's a transfusion. Oh. oh, God. No. I know how it sounds. I know how it sounds. Oh, God. We'll be right back. <laughs> Golly, I said we'll be right back. That's the cue. What With the one hand and a dildo, I mean shit. And a dildo. Oh, there we go. I got wood in one hand and a tampon in the other. Cheers.
That nigga kicked it. He kicked the baby over the fence, guys. <laughs> new sex style. It's 2019's ultimate press release. Right here on the Rosin Produce. We're, we're pressing all sorts of things. Things that you wouldn't even imagine. Step on to the back booth, black booth, where you can switch all sorts of things, but don't tell nobody. It's a secret. Chirp it up and slab it down. I'm over here with Chirp Management. I'm about to do some uh, little chirps with my little baby Debbie uh, Daily Driver. Gabby Daily Debbie Driver. Right here in the mission, bitch. I'm smoking on some big rocks. I'm fucking taking uh, one gram rocks and finish it. That's, I got one speed. Go. Chirp it up and slab it down. <laughs> We are watching one of our favorite movies, Degenerate Art, and I think I need a big dab to celebrate all this awesome pipe ship. Oh, cheers.
Ini aja loh. Good job, elbow avatar. Voila. And we're back, everybody. Welcome back to the motherfucking show. This is the show that we call the motherfucking Slab Hour. I want to give a lot of love over to the IG Live family as well as the actual live people in the studio audience. Can you make a quick shout of noise for yourself? Very nice, very nice. Uh, I, I love that shit. And I got to drink some more of this three-star brewery beer that's brewed right here in the Washington uh, National fucking capital district of Columbia. Cannabis concentrates. And now... Uh, what starts with a C that's like beer? Nope, it's not going to work. Carbs? <laughs> <laughs> that would just be... Uh, crisp. Cool. Crushingly refreshing. <laughs> you asked the question, man. I was just trying to answer your question. Okay, so. we're back. Appreciate you, bro. Ah, a little Rock Marciano in the background. Um, high pot news. California court rules possession of small amounts of cannabis legal in prison. Whoa. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> we, we're barely even getting it over here. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You can go to... You can go to... What? 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 Uh, okay, I'm about to get locked up. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's try this one more time. Let's get right back into High Pot in the News. In news all abroad and across the United States, I'm Phone Homie delivering to you the topics of the hour. High Pot News right here. On WLVSRadio.com, California court rules small possessions of uh, cannabis are now legal in prison. I just had to have a guffaw because I'm like, what the fizzy Womack is that? Uh, you're going That's to, wild. like, here, <laughs> like, I'm oh, smoking this joint. Sir, you're going to jail. Fuck! I go to jail. And they're like, yo, yo you've got actually, the full right. You can, bro, it's your right to smoke weed and cannabis. Yeah. Then why the fuck am I in why here? Are you? Pass me the J. Yo, actually, right. phone homie, phone homie. Yes. 209 episodes. There's one thing that I think we've learned. 
and that's to keep reading. Right. Just keep reading keep before reading, you start right? hating on. I've never shit. learned that. We haven't learned it, but two hundred nine episodes. This happened at least forty-seven. This is pure times. insanity at this point. Yeah, it's happened at least forty-seven times where we talk so much shit right. about the story, and then we're like, oh. Halfway okay. through, like, oh yeah, yeah, that clears. We it already up. know that in order, inordinate amounts of people are in jail for small-time cannabis possession across the country, even in states that have legalized recreational cannabis, but are behind the times when it comes to the expungement of past criminal records. Compounding this issue is the prisoners who are caught with cannabis when they are already in jail, an offense that can end up adding years to their sentence and hence costing taxpayers a whole lot of money to keep nonviolent offenders locked up. California recently took a step in the right direction when it came when it comes to guaranteeing incarcerated people's rights in the middle of the cannabis legalization movement. Though it remains illegal to consume cannabis in prisons, the state's third district court of appeals decided that less than an ounce of cannabis was okay for imprisoned people to have in their possession. The same amount that all Californians are authorized to carry by law in 2016 in proposition law. Uh, okay. But you can't consume it. So I'm just, I'm just walking around holding this weed like, yo, got these trees. <laughs> yeah. It's about, so, I guess it's fashion. So, like, you think about it. It's no fashion. matter which way you think about it, you, like, no matter which way you try to ingest it, it's illegal. Because that would be consumption. If, even if you boofed it. Let's keep it funky, though. I just Let's did. Not, oh, yeah, I just, that was, that how was much more funkiest. funky can you get than that? No, no, I just no, no, said no, no. if you boofed it. No. See you later, guys. Yo, see, they they gone. Keep them beards growing. You offended them. Facial hair growing, all right? They were cool all up right. until you started talking Stay about young. boofing. They were like, we're out of here. As you, I did, there's nothing much more funky than putting than yeah. sticking weed up your ass. That's there's nothing keeping more it pretty funky fucking funky. If you but have there, is, there is... God bless you. There are, there are drugs true. in prisons. There's not like a shortage of drugs in prisons. So I think what they're trying to do is quote unquote decriminalize make weed no value to the weed exactly put yeah. no value to it oh you got all this fucking california bud but you can't yeah it's not i mean i mean really maybe what you could do is i mean you can't even because like maybe well would be, no if it's legal it wouldn't be smuggling it no it would but what the fuck are you gonna do with it look at it it's gonna draw you can, yeah you can't you consume can't, it you, you can't use it as currency you can't even use it as currency because technically that shit's going to dry out and fall apart. Let's keep reading. Let's keep Back reading. into the story, everybody, before we get all up in our fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. emotions. Right. Uh, no, it's not okay. Right. Yeah, no, uh, keep going. Compounded. But, 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 California recently. But, but though it seems. But though it. But, but, okay. The case was brought to court when cannabis was found in the cells of five Sacramento County inmates. The state exactly. of California argued that allowing incarcerated individuals for possessing cannabis would cause issues in the main in maintaining control in the prison facilities. A three <coughs> judge panel <coughs> ruled to ruled to override ruled to override the state's concerns. Assistant public defender David Lynch said, <coughs> "David Lynch, the uh, David Lynch, the uh, producer, movie producer." Uh, said this ruling will prevent inmates from having years added to their sentences for simple possession, reducing overcrowding and saving fifty thousand to seventy five thousand dollars a year in unnecessary costs. The voters made quite clear their intention to avoid spending state and county funds prosecuting pro possession of less than one ounce of marijuana and quite clear that they did not want to see adults suffer, suffer criminal convictions for possessing less than one ounce of marijuana. Wrote Sacra Sacramento County Assistant Public Defender Leonard Talman in an email to a local ABC News affiliate. However, prison authorities will still be able to penalize cannabis possessions as a rules violation. What? And impose punishments of extra jail time or by taking away incarcerated individuals' privileges. All right, so they can't they can't just walk around and tote it, tote cannabis with them and all that stuff. Or what if they what if they hit the medical approach? Anyway. In March, the role cannabis should play in prison is a global matter of interest. In March, a UK doctor spoke out about the importance of supplying cannabis to incarcerated individuals in the wake of a spate of deaths by ingestion of synthetic cannabis products like spice. Synthetic cannabis, also in an issue uh, in updated state jails, that was actually just uh, a, that was that was a comment. Uh, in Louisiana, a guard was discovered smuggling the stuff 
in sandwiches and potato chip bags in the hope of distributing uh, it to the incarcerated people of Richwood Correctional Center. There has been an ample debate over the issue of whether people in prison or jail should be able to consume cannabis, especially in the cases of medical need or religious conviction. Uh, in the front lines of this debate have been the Rastafarian community. Last year, a South Carolina inmate sued the Department of Corrections over various violations of his Rasta faith, including shaving off his dreadlocks and the ban on smoking cannabis behind bars. Whoa, they shaved off his dreads? That's that's, uh, yeah. that's crazy. That's I can't that's unimaginable. For a Rasta? No, for a Rasta that's that's part of the religion, man. That's you know. Very true. That's crazy. Um Again, we you know yeah, we don't know the facts. Yeah, no, he, he, he could have been a he stone cold. He, he could dread, be Anglo Saxon uh exactly. straight grew up from you know South Carolina and, and just picked like, up the Rastafarian religion. Right you know? before he got in, he's we, like, no, I'm a Rasta. You know? <laughs> straight up. <laughs> I'm a Rasta. So. <laughs> uh three okay, in other news. In other news, three-ounce possession of cannabis decriminalized in Cincinnati. You will soon be able to walk around the streets of Cincinnati, cannabis in hand. After careful debate, the city council passed an ordinance on Wednesday that will make possession of the cannabis legal up to three ounces. Word up. Many council members saw the measure as a compromise, but the majority felt the issue was too important to get hung up on individual conditions. If we don't do something now, we'll never do anything, said councilperson Wendell Young. System changes will take effect in 30 days. Council, get the fuck out of here. Council member Greg Landsman also expressed a sense of urgency for getting a city ordinance, I'm sorry, a city ordinance decriminalizing small-scale possessions on the books. It is well past time to decriminalize marijuana, he said. For too long, we have put people away for something I think should be legal. The distinct smell of compromises in the air over the Great Pot debate of 2019, said Cincinnati News Channel WLWT5. It's true that there's much debate over the plan on the council. In particular, questions regarding age limits on the decriminalization measures and quantity of cannabis that would decriminalize that would were that would be decriminalized were of interest to the policymakers. They eventually opted out of the age restriction on cannabis possession. What? They eventually opted out of an age restriction on cannabis possession. Is it just me? Is it just me or a lot have a lot of politicians been Flip flopping on it's cannabis all over the, it's all in over 2019. The it's all over the place. It's all over the, all place. Over the like, place. Yeah, actually, I've been for it all along. I mean, I just, you got to think about it. Like, there's been a lot of there's a lot of issues that are all over the place. You know, uh, as of now, you know, it's it's 2019, 2018. Uh, there's definitely a lot of new things to be concerned about, and maybe not even concerned about. I think maybe we're putting too much concern into a lot of things that maybe shouldn't be too shouldn't concerned be about not at all. You know? Exactly. Uh, but that is the way the pendulum swings, my friend. Before the measurement passed, Vice City Mayor uh, Chris Smitherman initially said in the event council members should... Oh, wait, what the fuck am I doing? Uh, it went too far. It's true that the debate was... There was much over that debate over the next council. In particular, questions regarding age limits on the... Blah, 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 blah. They opted out of that. Some locker, lawmakers pushed for allowances of public use of cannabis, but other others' concerns... Um, uh, Eventually overrode those uh, those ideas. For the uh, before the measure passed, Vice City Mayor Chris Smitherman initially said the event council members could not reach an agreement, but he would spear tempt an event. An, I'm sorry, an attempt to get a decriminalization measure on the ballot for November elections. This week, he wavered that on that promise and said that the ballot measure would not be likely possible before the November 2020 elections. Council member Tamaya Dennard was one of the no votes on the ordinance and not because she doesn't believe in the legalization of cannabis. Rather, Dennard was not on board for any plan that did not provide immediate expungement of past low-level cannabis-related offenses. That concern is well-founded based on the vast racial discrepancies that were uncovered by a study conducted by the city's law department. Between January 2004, May 2019, and May 2019, 16817, I'm sorry, between those times, January 2004 and May 2019, 16,817 cannabis-related arrests were made. Of this number, 86.2% of those arrests were black. According to the latest U.S. Consensus, uh, U.S. Census, black people make up only 42.85% of the city's population. These alarming numbers 
when we start talking about creating a permanent underclass, said Underman, referring to the difficulties that such offenses on an individual's record can cause in terms of finding employment. Ohio passed Bill 523 in 2016, which legalized medical cannabis. Huh. Interesting. Just, uh, I was thinking about it because I was doing 92 in a 70 in Ohio. I got pulled over by a state trooper. This guy was super nice, super professional, everything. Real on point. Real on point. I had five fingers of death rolled up, and they were underneath like a fucking napkin on the front on the front thing. I, I made no, no no effort to even like move them. I just, you know, pulled over. Okay, just, just let it be. You know what I'm saying? Just, just act like there's not even anything there. But I'm like, I'm smelling it like, damn, man, that shit smells fucking that is right. Funky. Right? And yeah. he's, you know, he's on the passenger <laughs> side yeah, where it's laying. And he's, you know, he's got his head, you know, kind of tucked into the, the you know, the, the thing. He's got the wide brim. And I'm sure that shit's catching some. I'm just, either, he was like so, like, he was just, I don't know. There was like no idea like, on his that? face. He was like, he had no, like, I don't know. I don't know. It just, either like that or just like. and cookies in here. It smells like garlic right. and cookies. And gas. Garlic and cookies He's and like, gas. Are you, do you have motor is, breath in the car? Is there? You mean motor breath, motor breath, the strain. Oh, no, what? No, uh, no, yes. Oh, no. yeah, right? Yeah. Speaking of which, I got to pay that ticket. That, that might be fucking points. I think 92 and 70 is points on your license, bro. If he, you know, you got to pay that ASAP. If he lets you slide with five, uh, you know, high potency. They weren't visible, I'm just saying, but they were like, you know. Either way, you just got it. Karma. Karma <sighs> necessitates that you pay that right. on time. I told my wife to pay her wherever we told it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, That's you my better wife. clean no, 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 that up, yo. She, no, no, quickly. my wife, she, she pays all. No, it's, it's it's my money, but she pays all the things. I'm like, I can't look at it. Facts. I can't look at Mine it. Doesn't I don't want to look at it. I'll be ashamed of myself. I don't want to be ashamed exactly. of myself. So I just say, Pace, can you do me a favor? Can you pay this? And she's looking at me like, mm, mm, you know what this money could be going towards, right? Like, Your children. It. Yes. Your babies. And their eternal need for food. Right. But we'll just yeah. pay this $400 <laughs> ticket. Whatever. It me. Right. She digs it into me. Uh, I love you, wife. You are the best. No, seriously, she is. Uh, okay, so uh, let's not go far too, too far off the path here. Uh, where were we at? Something about... Ohio. Oh, yeah. Officers. But establishing these licensing process uh, provided unexpected delays. And the first dispensaries did not start opening until they're... they're I'm sorry, opening their doors... Er, until early 2019. Recently, a committee run through the state medical board considered expanding the program by four new health conditions, eventually deciding to reject the inclusion of depression and insomnia as qualifying conditions and recommend the uh, uh, addition of anxiety and autism. Now, that, I think, honestly, like, depression and insomnia, those are two very big factors that should be on the list of qualifying conditions for medical cannabis, in my opinion. Personally, me, I go through depression and insomnia i've gone through both <laughs> but uh insomnia definitely like we all Same. most of us know a damn good indigo you know what you do lull you to sleep you know lull Slowly. you into you know take huge rips yeah. and eventually either you know either that you're just yeah it all really depends on your makeup or on, you on, just... on who you are you know how your body reacts yeah. Even an indica could take somebody and let them not sleep, you know, at all. But they're, for the most part, most people are falling out. Uh, but yes, yeah. But I mean, those things I think are very qualifying factors for for cannabis. I think at least a shop because uh, depression and and uh, and insomnia are usually treated with some pretty heavy uh, chemicals, some pretty heavy pharmaceuticals. Yeah, you know, that include like farting, diarrhea, and stuff like that as side effects. You Probably worse I mean? than that. Yeah, so worse than that. Cannabis, a good, a good indica's. Well, preferable. you know, as a cannabis smoker, I can say that flatulism kind of comes with the game. We are breathing oh, in know, a lot purple, of air. Purple, you know? purple, there purple. should be a study on that. There should be a study actually, on that because that is, that is, that is a, that is a question. It's, 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 there's been some movie references about stoners being very yeah, gassy, gassy. Yeah. Purples do it for me. Purples give me uh, that. Purple. So you know that purples make you gassy? Yes. Like purple punch, uh, granddaddy purple. I know that gas uh, makes me gassy. Purple Urkel. I smell gas called. and I feel like gas. I'll be like, uh, uh, I'm uh, gassed up yeah, when I'm purple, smoking man. gas. That's just what I've noticed. Anyway, we're, we're going too far you off were here, man. About this, this, people are walking out. 
did that woman just slapped her boyfriend because she yeah, said you she brought me like, to this fucking show, yeah. you asshole. They're talking about baby. Sorry, gas. I'm sorry, please, no violence. Okay. Uh, research is in other news. Research. Oh wait, do we even finish what the fuck we were talking about? Uh, recently committed yep. one of those recommendations when we consider for the medical board. Uh, oh, yes, oh, in did. March, a range of products could be legally available for purchase by medical cannabis users, expanding the past uh, the previous restriction to flour to include edibles, oils, tinctures, and corporal creams. Corporal creams. What are corporal creams? That creams sounds, for your corporal. <laughs> naughty. Yeah. We're making corporal maneuvers with cream. Corporal. You corporal. should be nice at lubricating. All right. Researchers find evidence of ancient cannabis use in China. Now, wait a minute. This this is kind of weird because I used to teach a, a little class on. I got to read this, but but I'm just saying, like, I don't think that's news because there was a there was a pretty big, like, a huge amount of cannabis found in a in a tomb, like, in the past five six years, you know, with a white haired, blue eyed, uh, and light skinned. Uh, shaman next to that person so I was like that's not a sh that's what they would call shaman but it's actually his weed man because he had like 178 fucking uh, pounds of or grams of cannabis in his, his burial tomb it's pretty interesting he has weed and his weed man with him he's like nah you he's got like, to come with like, me bro he's, he's, he's like come me, on bro he's, bro. Like, he's like dude man this is such a bummer man <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to get you the best weed dude he's like yeah you, you yeah. are in the afterlife well yeah, <laughs> you know? eternal paradise with me. Let's do it. All right. All right. So, uh, okay. <laughs> Researchers conducting an archaeological uh, stu study of tombs in Western China have found the earliest evidence of cannabis smoking so far discovered. According to, a, okay, so I guess it is different. Uh, according to a report on their work published by uh, published on Wednesday in the journal Science Advances, which now has been retitled Science Adventures. Analysis, I'm just striking really great with this. People are rolling in their pants. Don't piss your pants, people. I know. I'll be back on Sunday. Analysis of braziers. Brazers or braziers? It's only one Z. Brazers. Uh, in the two Brazers is something completely right, you know, different. Reveal the cannabis. Doink. Right, okay. Cannabis. Analysis. You know, he knows. This is an analysis of braziers in the tombs. A lot of, a lot of teens were... <laughs> We're finding the way to love. All right. Uh, revealed that cannabis plants with high levels of psychoactive compounds were being burned during ancient mortuary ceremonies. What? The evidence suggests that cannabis was smoked as a part of the religious or ritual ceremonies or at least as early as 25,000, I mean, 2,500 years ago. It was like 25,000 million years ago. They were smoking that dank and dank stick. Other right evidence there. has shown that cannabis was cultivated for fiber and grain in East Asia from 4000 BC or earlier. I would assume that would be hemp. What would probably be the uh, the genus species of cannabis Ruderalis. 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 Which is known to have grown in the Siberian areas. It was predominantly, and then of course, Asia is not that far off from there, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, harsh, harsh growing conditions. Uh, form this uh, plant along the way. Let me try to stop sounding smart and can we continue the read. There has been a long-standing debate over the origins of cannabis smoking as there has been many speculative claims, speculative claims of ancient use. Robert Stengel, a researcher from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History and one of the study's authors told Newsweek. However, this study provides that early, the earliest am unambiguous, what's unambiguous? The opposite of ambiguous. That means right? there's only one way to look at it. Okay. Unambiguous, yes. It's plain event. Just, just say fucking. All right. Uh, exactly. Evidence for both it's too elevated. Much, man. It's too much. Stab him in the uh, face. Elevated uh, uh, and chemical production in the plant and also for the burning of the plant as a drug. Smoke the drugs. Uh, analyzing the residue discovered in the braziers, the braziers, the braziers, the bra. <laughs> <laughs> why am I? Why am I thinking of the fucking uh, Brazzers? Why am I thinking of Brazzers, Brazzers. on Pornhub? Everybody is thinking about it. That's, <laughs> that's not just you. Analyzing everybody, the residue discovered in Brazzers. Thinking about what you're saying anymore. Everybody's just thinking. Shout, doink, out, to, shout out to all my dads who you know, know what Brazzers mean? is. Shout out to the dads on Brazzers. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. What? What? What you said. Shots all the dads that know what browser is. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's quite a few dads or non-dads <laughs> who know what browsers is. Yes. 
<laughs> that guy there's like, oh, I don't oh, know. Bro. Bro. I don't know. Right. I just Google it, bro. Right. What do you Google. mean? Double Z? E R W S? Oh, yeah. I do know what that means. I'm guessing that's how you spell it. High levels of... Uh, according to discovering the breasts, researchers learned that cannabis with relatively high levels of THC had been burned in the ritual burners. Ritual burners, was that their rigs? Uh, Yim and Ying of the Chinese Academy, uh, Academy of Sciences, who is an author, another author of the study, said their written records of the ancient cannabis use uh, are very limited. One of the long-standing research debates in Central Asian archaeology uh, has been the origins of drug use, uh, se- especially centering around the ephedra, around ephedra and cannabis. Ephedra. Yang said, "We are interested in knowing if these crops were popular in Bronze and Early Iron Ages in Western China. However, archaeologists and archaeobotanists have found fragmentary evidence that uh, for these psychoactive plants." And it is hard to judge how ancient people consumed them. Uh, you know, here's something. Just just a thought before I lose this, man. It's crazy to hear this, right? You know, and, and, and China, knowing China, who, like, has every remedy under the book, whether it be drug or organic, right? And they create new different patterns and and, uh, and, and atom shifts or, or molecule shifts to create uh, different drugs that could remain legal in places like the United States that are deprimit- uh, detrimental, de- detrimental K2 uh, to, our, to our youth and such like that. Yep. But you will die for being caught with th- something like cannabis or drugs yep. per se. But they'll mix up but, the K2. But they're some of the biggest That's fucked up. producers of drugs in the world. But they export it. That's the thing. What so the shit is fucking going on with this? They're trying what to part of the game is this? This is the part where they annihilate the competition. Call into the, the interactive show. It's 202-308-5271. Again, 202-308-5271. 202-308-5271. Yeah, shit's weird, right? I got to drink some more beer. I'm rubbing beer all over my body. Can we please get funding for this show? <laughs> I just chose to use my platform right now to, to request funding for this show. <laughs> We're looking for funding. <laughs> Are you just right a now. shameless plug right in the middle I'm of the a shameless plug. So can we get $5,000? Yeah, like, like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> 5,000? What yeah. the fuck are you talking about? I was just starting low. I just started the bid. What did I just say like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Never sell yourself short. $100,000. $700,000. If you want in, we're starting, we're starting the bids off at 700000 We need investments, people. Everybody. Let's do it. Straight up. Uh, this new kung fu, uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't know exactly what what they're they're calling the kids are calling these things nowadays, uh, but uh, this, I, I know it's a pot of some sort, but this is really uh, the shiznops. Truly an amazing product. Uh, the game is stepping up as we speak. Um, let's get back into this, and then I want to get into that real quick before everybody walks out. Uh, Nicole Boyvin. Another author, another author, jeez, from the study of the Max Planck Institute, uh, added that physical traces of the early use of psychoactive substances is also difficult to find. Duh, you just said it five minutes ago. Uh, this kind of evidence is rare due to there being few opportunities for long-term preservation of the remains of the activities involving drug use, which is the ephemeral, ephemeral, and doesn't necessarily leave a lot of the uh, way of the physical evidence. Furthermore, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, Boyman said the discoveries made by the team were quite unexpected. I would uh, say that we were surprised by it because finding evidence for ancient drug use is a bit like finding a needle in a haystack. Oh, a heroin needle. Was that too rough? It's dark. Damn. Dark. What other? Th- what other? What other kind of drugs are you, are you gonna inject? Do we have to get? Into well, that you could right inject now. cocaine. There's a whole lot, bro. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Yeah, let's check. not get into that right now. This you is a family-friendly show, except for for when the family-friendly part that? of that. We never said this was That's a family-friendly show. I never said ever. It's family, please don't walk out. Oh, they just okay. took their four-year-old just. and just bounced. 
They're like, oh, snap. <laughs> now they give us the disclaimer. <laughs> are you We're the out of here. Is like, are we you leaving, leaving now, Daddy? We have so much fun. We're leaving now, Daddy. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Father's Day will never be the Can same. we please stay five more minutes? <laughs> I'm learning a lot from this, Daddy. <laughs> uh, Cannabis ruderalis. This is the uh, Father's Day uh, episode uh, edition of the show, everybody. Uh, get on your uh, phones right now and text your dad or text a dad or text a person who was a dad in your life and just say, hey, dad, thank you. I love you. I would do it, but I don't know my dad's number. He doesn't have texting ability to his phone. <laughs> that was uh, 30 some years ago. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. All right. <laughs> The show has reached a dark point. No, it's all turned around, though. I've, uh, it's all truth, a, I, man. It's all truth, man. No, you know, all jokes are, li- are laced yeah. with truth, yes. Yeah, let it go. It's very true. I wouldn't be able to... No, nah, I'm not letting nothing go. What is this, Frozen? Let it go. Let it all right. go. Don't, Wait, hey, no you're about to get kicked off the Oh, show. you almost got sued. Super ooh. Good, no, good no, no, no. I'm about to kick you off the show. I hate that song. Oh, Thanks. Sorry to everybody that loves that song. Me too. But I hate that song. No, I also right? hate that song. <laughs> Why did he look at her? <laughs> he, he looked directly like, at his girlfriend. He's like, ah, like, oh, gotcha. He's like, am I allowed, am I allowed to say <laughs> I hate the <this> song? <laughs> All right. Uh, you love that song too? I'm sorry, sir. He does. If you if you love that song, exhale. Smoke yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, oh, yeah. he loves that song. <laughs> Nashville. <laughs> <Right>. Nashville. <laughs> Nashville, South Carolina. He <laughs> with, with the Let It Go. So do you have Let It Go on uh, repeat in your uh in your playlist? Hundred percent. Yes. Yes. You yeah. knew it. And he laughed, he did, he needs and he's like, right I there, know it. Like, he's like, he does. Right he does. He does. Right on point, yo. Right on point. He does. There are people who still listen to that song on the regular. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's cool, man. It's all good. He's like, now we're going to go back and we're going to go listen, listen to it. it. I told you it was cool. Home. And we, I'm stoned now. We're going to listen to it high. Yeah. So you got like, yo, you got to listen to the song high. It's so different. Yeah. It's so, so different. different. Listen to her. Let no. it go. She's talking about some now dark gotta, shit. Get the fuck out of here. You got me singing this song now. She's talking about letting right. go from uh, meth addiction. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So finding needles in a haystack. All right. I think that was a fucking drug reference. Uh, support psychoactive drugs we use in Central Asia. So, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, so you can't use drugs now, so what the fuck does this all matter? Nevada prohibits employment discrimination based on cannabis use. Democratic uh, Governor Steve Sisolak of Nevada signed a bill on Friday that prohibits uh, employers from denying jobs to applicants because of their legal cannabis use. Under the measure, Assembly Bill 132, employers would be banned from discriminating against prospective <coughs> employee <coughs> employees based on a positive result for cannabis use and a pre-employment drug screening on an applicant's admission <coughs> of legal cannabis use. The bill was introduced in Nevada State Assembly in uh, February and passed on the body of April 23rd by a vote of 33 to 8. AB 132 was then taken up to the State Senate and passed by a margin of 12 to 8 on May 24th. There's still a stigma around cannabis, even though it is, a, it is legal for medical and recreational use. Kiara Sears, a consultant with the, with the Joey Gilbert Law Firm in Reno, the smallest city in the world. It's the smallest, biggest city in the world. The biggest, smallest city in the world? The, the, biggest, the biggest, smallest, smallest city, city in the world. In the world. Yes. Yeah. Have you been there? I've been there a few times. Nah, I've only seen it in the airport in, no, in I've been Vegas. There. I've been there a few times. Yeah. Uh, you said that like we were about to have her come in live on on through via satellite. All right. You, that was an intro like, and here she is. <laughs> and Thank here you she is right now. Kira Sears. Kira Sears. She's like, I don't really like what's going on right now. Wait, wait, we shouldn't be doing that. Oh, yeah, she's probably down for the cause. She's, yeah, she's keep down reading. for the cause, yeah. Keep reading. Sorry. Yeah, keep uh, reading. Let's go. Hey, look, Let's <laughs> do it. with the Joey Gilbert firm in Reno, <laughs> a Nevada voters uh, legalized the medical cannabis use in uh, 2000, followed by the passage of a ballot initiative. At least the medical use. Okay. Followed by a legalized re- recreational cannabis use that was approved in 2016 and went into effect in January 1st, 2017. Legal sales of recreational cannabis began in the state uh, on July 1st, 2017. AB 132 does not prohibit employers from administering drug tests to applicants, but they are not permitted to deny employers based solely on a positive result for cannabis. Once the bill becomes effective next year, applicants who believe they were discriminated against by a potential employer 
were based on the legal, legal cannabis use would have to turn up to courts for relief, according to Sears. I did a pre-employment screening test and I tested positive and I didn't get the job, she hypothesized. And it becomes a legal issue to find out why the employer... Uh, why did the employer not hire this person? <laughs> well, uh, you, you, do, note, do not go to the uh, interview uh, <laughs> with rig in hand, <laughs> taking dabs. Right, right. So, uh, <laughs> Thursday good for you? or So, what do you like to do Friday? in your off time? <laughs> <laughs> what? Jog. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, litigate. Sears said that... Uh, uh, then it becomes illegal why they did not hire them. Uh, word of advice for job hunters in the state. Be respectful. Nevada has given the people uh, the opportunity to participate in the consumption of marijuana, and that is a privilege. We've gone against the federal government, and we should not take that for granted. AB 132 is scheduled to go into effect on January 1, 2020. So, yeah. Good job, everybody. Good job, Nevada. Turb it up and slab it down. Um, I'm smoking more of this joint. So I do got some. Um, so I got. I want to go across the board over here. Nobody's calling in. I guess two zero two three zero eight five two seven one again. Two zero two three zero eight five two seven one to call in to the motherfucking pot line. Uh, let's talk about some of this juice right here. Got some of this juice from um, Mac Daddy Green out in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to open it up. Now I'm assuming based on the G for juice and uh, the gorilla on the front that's some sort of gorilla mixed with orangutan or orange. Um, really super amazing. Surprisingly, it smells like uh, it's, it has like a really fruity bread smell. Straight undertones. Once you crack it, and you see like this. It's very crystallized. You say fruity bread. Fruity bread. It's huh. Super bread. Smell. So like, oh okay, I feel you. Like Here, fresh bake oven. It. Smell it. Oh, hold on. You got a wireless? Don't. Oh no, no, no. Here you go. That's not there. I'm attached to this. Appreciate you, bro. So it's like a fresh bake oven on a warm summer summer day. Smell it. What do you smell? I smell like strawberries and bread. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then this motor breath. Motor breath uh, 15. Red. Yeah, like. Like a birthday cake. This one, has a deep, this one smells like gas and bread. Deep gas smell and bread. Pass that back. What the fuck is going on? What just happened to the music? I don't know. It's just cut out. Is that, I think, you know what, I keep clicking something over here. Hold on a second. Yeah. Are you doing that? Yeah, can you stop doing that, please? Can you stop cutting off power yeah, to my entire they, system? Why connected over there? <laughs> I don't know. I think that's how electricity works or something. <laughs> yeah, you just cut it out again. Oh, and it's back. And it's not back. And it's not back. And it's back. Ooh, hey, tech. Yeah, it is. Damn. Okay, so next time. Yeah. So let's, can you uh, can you tell them to change the the area of where the main switch is for the entire don't put electricity? It don't put it underneath the the. the it's literally based thing. underneath the foot of of the host. <laughs> Listen, visit studios. The latest and greatest oh technology and the advances in entertainment business. Where's my weed at? Okay. Um, yeah, but this is, it's ridiculous how they're, you know, um, it's just like, at, like going through a whole fucking cannabis cup and, uh, I only came back with like two or three, I mean, there's a lot of fire everywhere, but there was like only two or three that I just really wanted to take home with me. And, you know, this was some of it right here. Uh, really, really. And I got, I'm trying to smoke as much of this before I leave to Europe. I'm heading out, by the way, I'm, I'm out of here, by the way, this Tuesday, I'm out of here for a month. Off to Eastern Europe, heading out to uh, a few places. I'm, I'm thinking Turkey, but we might switch it up. Because I don't know, man. I just, I just keep getting these fucking these vibes, man, that like, you know. Is Turkey safe to travel? I don't. Well, no, no. Not, not that way. No, Turkey's. Oh. I, I, believe that, I believe that Turkey's safe. Okay. Um, but I don't know about cannabis in Turkey. Yeah, I wouldn't fuck around, man. You should look it up. Maybe it's cool. So. My my wife says to me, 
Well, why don't you just, you know, just go there and, and not smoke anything. Just not, you know, just not bring anything with you and not smoke anything. And did I you, did say, you have a good laugh? I just say, yeah. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? <laughs> you want me to have a fucking meltdown in the middle of a vacation? Right. Like, just <laughs> what am I, what am I going to do? I'm gonna, just I mean, 10 minutes of laughter. She's just sitting there like, no, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, Ten minutes later, just like, oh, oh, oh wait. I'm on, like, wait. let's change the location on Earth. Right. Let's switch to a new location on Earth. Siri, <laughs> tell me where. Does I can anybody go. know about turkey by any chance? Can I, like, I really should have asked this before, but if anybody knows about turkey and cannabis, you know, I like, please, like, hit me up, and, like, let me know because uh, I don't know what the rules are. I want to know what the rules are out there. Like, I, people can people have been telling me like, yo, it's fucked up. Like, you can get fucked up out there with some shit, you know. I just want I just want cannabis to be like world legal so that we can just travel everywhere with it. It'd be fine in that sense, you know. But with the ability to still make money off of it, just like you would any craft, uh, any craft sort of um, novelty, if you will, whether it be craft beer, craft cannabis, you know. Anyway, I'm not mad if you know if, if there are some corporate companies that want to get into cannabis. It's fine, you know. But just let us have our craft. Let us keep our craft. Because the craft will prevail to the people that want craft. And I'm not talking about no motherfucking slices of American cheese. All right. Last up, we've got uh, pretty much we ended out over here. Um, we're at an all-time lull. The bottom of the show has been pitted out. But let's bring it into something fun, a little bit interactive. We do this every once in a while. High Times Magazine. Ooh, look at this. Sexy. What do you guys think of this? Look at that. This is sexy, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, sexual pleasure. She just grabbed her man. Look at that. She grabbed her man by the and looked up at him and said, said now, let's do it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> remember when we That's spoke tight. about... Do you remember when we spoke about having children? <laughs> let's start growing. Let's start growing. Immediately. I've got seeds. Oh, the porn that's in here is just ridiculous. I was going to say... Uh, Annunciation on the dick. What? Ridiculi? Ridic- uh, ridiculous. Yeah, you got to You got to feel. I was on a roll, man. Hey, you know, no, no, no. Hold on. The first. It's, no, no, here's today's the today's off. I think. I think nobody's really phone home. Nobody's appreciating my humor. Today. No phone home. Here's the what? thing. Here's the thing. It's too much dick humor. No, 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 no. You didn't. You didn't oh, say it out back. loud. Look what the oh, cat dragged in. Put up, 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 Remember, we just had this. I don't know. I don't know stomach shit, man. I feel like I feel Homeless. like I feel like I'm I'm Nemo's father and you're Dora. I'm the huge great white shark. No, the, not the, the great Nemo's, white shark. The Nemo's running no, away. No, you see that's. That, uh, get out of here now. Yeah, you, not not the great white shark. The little the blue fish that always forgets things. Dora. I said Dora. I said Dora. It's Dora. Dora is it Dora or Dory? Dory. Dory? Okay. Dory. I don't know. Yeah, maybe Dora was an explorer. Disney, Burns. I'm so fucking... All right. That that joint's got me pretty ripped. <laughs> uh, but I can't find this fucking thing. Can somebody find this for me, please? Page so 72. Fucking, something wrong's happening. I need you to... Can, can you find the transatlantic uh, quotes, please, in here so we can get into that? Uh, I'm glad that there's still people here. Uh, that, that makes me feel good. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to you guys. What you guys are awesome for sticking around. <laughs> what did you just try to say, man? <laughs> What's wrong with what he's trying to say? I always tell him. I always, I always tell him that. You should have seen I, I that I coming. Tell him to bring, I, mean, I know. You should have seen that I coming. coming. I should have seen it coming. What do you yeah, mean? Like, like should have seen it like the surprise. big sign that walked yeah, in with yeah. the person. I did see it coming. I seen like a twenty-seven inch. Yeah. Scene. Come on, uh, bro. Yeah. I saw that setup. I was like, here it comes. The I always tell. Him, I, always, so. I always tell him not to keep. It, but I always tell. I say. I said. I always tell him like, please don't don't bring politics into here. He's like, okay, no, pro- okay, no problem. With a billboard, he comes yeah, walking like, in. <laughs> I'm not bringing it. The billboard is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bringing it. I can't control it. It's the billboard. 
What up, Mac Daddy? <coughs> Mac Daddy just hopped on the motherfucking bill. <laughs> <coughs> oh, all right. All right, we come to uh, we come to the point uh, we're looking for transatlantic quotes, and here we are. And then after that, guys, I will let you go home and fucking uh, do what you guys got to do, man. Happy Father's Day to everybody, by the way. If you guys didn't hear it at the beginning, in the middle of the show. All right, so here's how it goes. We got enough people in the motherfucking uh, building to talk about how much weed costs in your motherfucking state. And I say motherfucking because it's Father's Day. And fathers, you are a bunch of motherfuckers. By definition. I used that joke earlier in the motherfucking show, and it didn't work, and it didn't work this time. This here we go. All right, here we go. So listen, here's where I need your, here's where I need your uh, assistance. I'm going to say a state. You guys are going to make a little bit of, no- you know, just say, like, yeah, we want to hear it from that state. So um, we will find out how much weed costs in that state and city. Alabama. Alaska. Yeah. Ar- Anchorage. Oh no, the Fairbanks. No, get the sour it. diesel. Get the sour diesel for four hundred and ten dollars. Yikes! Ten dollars shy of the iconic four twenty. You might as well have just gone in there and said four twenty. Uh, Arizona, anybody? Arkansas, California. Cali. Cali, okay. Uh, in Arcata, you get the wedding cake for three hundred and fifty dollars. What? Pre or post rate? He's talking Cali weed game. Pre or post raid? Uh, Arcata just got raided. Yeah, Arcata was. Yeah, that's right. So Arcata is one of the places that got raided. Yeah. So, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you mean uh, no that's wedding cake? Because ain't got shit over there now. The police got it. That's gonna be eight thousand Three fifty or bro. whatever you, however much you can bribe the police officers to let it out the back door for. Right. It's gonna be eight thousand dollars, bro. Uh, <laughs> and you're getting arrested. <laughs> and you're getting yeah. And we're setting you up. <laughs> Colorado. Yeah. Colorado. Anybody? I want yeah, Colorado. yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I, in Aurora, you can get the kerosene. Ooh, Ooh. kerosene. Wow, I want that. Ooh, Any, I'll fly to Colorado for that. Uh, $290. That's even better. In Denver, get the birthday cake for 205 And don't walk up in there and be like, it's my birthday. I want a birthday cake. Yeah. Hey, they're like, yeah, so you and 700 other people today. Well, oh, oh wait a minute. You know, I think we've been making enough noise because now we're actually finally. Anybody want to hear how much weed is in the District of Columbia? <laughs> Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. Uh, in the city, <laughs> I love how, because every state has a city, right? In the state of District of Columbia, in the city of Washington. Yes, specifically. Girl Scout cookies are going for $350 an ounce. Yeah. Does that sound about right? Uh, it sounds a little high. For, for Girl Scout cookies, that is a little high. Yeah. Girl Scout cookies are probably going for about anywhere for 200 to three. Depending on how good they are. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> but yeah, but $300 put it out for DC. It doesn't, that, you know, what did she say? $300 gift. Gifting. Right. $300. $300 gift. 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 Of A kind. sticker price Aww. for $300. Oh. All right, oh, moving, on, moving on, moving on, moving on to Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come Florida and Pembroke Florida, Pines, bro. you can get the wedding cake. For, what's up Florida. with wedding cake right now? Is, this, is it hot? Wedding cake, three hundred and sixty in uh, Pompano Beach. Pompano uh, Beach. Oh, Pompano. Pompano Beach. Bro. You say Pompano, Pompano I, say I say Pompano. Pompano, and I say Pompano. <laughs> Just Pompano like Beach, bro. I, I'm gonna roll over the floor and be like, "Yo, I'm in Pompano Beach," and they're like, "Yo, yo, yo." yo everybody's Just gonna like, be like, no, "Jump no, 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 no. no, I was Jump in, him. I was in Michigan. I was like, uh, "They're like, where are you staying?" I was like, "Oh, I'm in Grand Blanc." And they're like, "Oh, you mean Grand, Grand Blanc? Blanc?" Yeah. Well, there's no K at the end. No, it's Grand Blanc. Well, if you're speaking to good yeah. f- King's French, <laughs> right. it's Grand Blanc. Yeah, yeah. You can't get bougie with certain how folks. Far, you, how far is it to Detroit? <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> Detroit. See? I knew you I would like it to. I would like to make it to Detroit, Detroit? at least one day. And then I'll go to Grand Blanc. Uh, to Grand Blanc. Detroit. All of the French. And then to the Grand Rapides. Yes, Grand, Grand <laughs> Rapides. Everybody's so lost. They're like, what the fuck are they talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you Detroit, get, Grand you're Rapids. About get, you're about to get kicked in the jaw. Oh, here they get, they're like, ah. We All right, Alien OG for $320. Georgia, yeah. anybody in Hotlanta? Hotlanta. Get that Oregon diesel, which belongs in Oregon. Oregon. Uh, oh, I'm for so two, confused. For $250. Yeah. You're in Georgia. You're in Atlanta. It's well, the Oregon diesel. It's $250. No, you that, actually, you know how many arguments probably have started what? <laughs> over that name? They're like, yeah, you know. So hook me up. What you got, man? Oregon Diesel. 
Like, yo, man, no, seriously. Nah, we in it. Nah, I, just what you got, Oregon Diesel. Nah, Idaho, bro. anybody? Nah, come on. Idaho? Right, Illinois? Yeah, Chi Town. No Chi Town. No Chi Town. Uh, Kankakee? 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 I never heard of Kankakee. Kankakee, Illinois? Uh, Lemon Kush for $280. Anybody for Iowa? Kansas? Louisiana? Baton Rouge? Get that Gorilla Glue for $275. Does anybody, anybody curious about how much weed costs in Maryland? Yeah. Okay. Baltimore. Germantown. 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 Get the Amnesia Haze for $240 an ounce. Ooh, real deal. Massachusetts. <laughs> Michigan. <laughs> I want Michigan. In Detroit. Fire Cookies. 300, uh, 200. Fire Cookies in Michigan? You got to check those prices. Hey, you look like he about to make three hundred and thirty-five dollars. Uh, and then in you mad in, or not? Uh, in Inkster. You, hold on, phone home. Are you mad or no? No, nah, not mad because I got okay. my shit for free. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though, I got fire shit for like two hundred. Two hundred fire, fire, and it was the trick trick train. Trick okay. trick, trick trick. That's the no fly Did you have to check shit, in? You know Did you have to check in and shit? You know, actually, I, you know, I, I did not um, check in. I, I still owe him a few uh, t-shirts. Yes, facts. Detroit. Detroit. Well, who said Detroit? Who the fuck said Detroit? The, what it's the? so cold in the Detroit. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, I have Detroit. no idea. Yeah, All right, so uh, we move on to uh, Minnesota, Mississippi. Minnesota, okay, Michigan, we did that already. Uh, Platinum Kush in Inkster for three twenty. Minnesota, Minis- Mississippi. Missouri, Montana, oh, wow, Nevada. None of the M's. Reno and v- Reno get the Reno. Bubba get the Bubba Fett for two hundred and twenty dollars. New Hampshire, anybody? Yeah. Claremont, uh, Claremont, get the uh, Gorilla Glue number four, GG number four for four hundred dollars. Whoa! Yeah, four hundred, four hundred. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Um, New Jersey. Yeah, Jersey. What's up? Why is nobody else in it? Like, you're the only yeah, one that wants yo, to Yo, listen, because they don't know the rules. They're so high, and I think right? a lot of... Nobody lot of, nobody cares. Yeah, they don't know the rules. Uh, so when you hear a place you uh, like, Hasbrock you say, yeah, Heights. I want to listen Hasbrock to Hasbrock Heights, place. more Gorilla Glue, uh, <laughs> but it's no number four. It's just Gorilla Glue for $140. The, <laughs> it is the Garden State. It is the Garden State. $150? $140. $140. $40 for Gorilla Glue. $140. It's not like Gorilla Glue number four or nothing like that, but it's... No, it's, it's, it's a Gorilla hey, Glue. Hey, man, for New Jersey, it's man. Probably number Get two. Get out there to fucking... Number two. Hasbrock Heights, a.k.a. Hasbrock Heights. Hasbrock. All right? <laughs> yeah. $140. Anybody uh, about that New Mexico life? Nah. What about New York, New York? Yeah, hell yeah. The city's so, so nice that you can name it twice. twice. Bum, bum. Right? Get that wedding cake. Again, wedding cake. Yeah. Hey, Ew, I wouldn't know how many bridezillas go for this one. All right. Wedding cake in New York, New York for. Nah, Seven, man. Come on, man. Come on. How you going to do New York like that? $480. Whoa. Wait, hold on. The same. Wait, this how is the same you, wedding sir. cake. How dare you say that it's we charge 400. 500 in New York, New yes. York? It's 480 <laughs> because, because I like you. I like you, G. I like you, G. I'm down with you, D. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I've been down from the grave with you, son. You know what I'm saying? Keep it real with you. Only you, though. I, I remember hey. you from the 90s. Yeah. Remember oh, me? Oh, no. Man? You, uh, you Stacy's cousin. Who's in the cypher, son? Yeah, you Stacy's cousin. Who's in the cypher? You almost came through the cypher, dog. bro. $480. Oh, man. It's Harlem prices. It's not even here. I wonder how. So I wonder if the piff. I wonder if the piff is still being sold in motherfucking wow. in, in, in Washington Heights. Piff. Yeah, the piff. You took it back to 197. Piff? You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Piff. If you don't, you don't. You had to go. You had to go to the Dominicans on yeah. 197th Street. Yeah. And uh, and, 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 get, and, and, and you had to get the piff. And you get the piff. You ask him for piff. It was you know hope the guy. He didn't, he, you couldn't ask for the spiff. If you ask for the spiff, you're getting drunk. You're getting yeah, drunk. You're getting, you're getting your jaw knocked out. Hey, spiff. The, the spiff. You're getting fucked up. Spiff uh, all right, so oh, let's uh, move from New York. I, love, I miss you, New York. I miss, I miss, I miss New York. Uh, all right, North Dakota. We go from New York to North Dakota. Uh, Ohio, anybody? Oklahoma. Oregon. Oregon. In Bend. Get that dog walker. Hey, your boy knows dog walker. Dog walker has been a strain of mine for a minute, dog walker. Uh, so uh, get that dog walker uh, for two hundred and ninety dollars. Wow, that's crazy. It's expensive. Uh, Pennsylvania, 
in Bethlehem. You can get Girl Scout cookies for $150 from the Amish. I was kidding about the Amish part. Yeah, but uh, maybe. Uh, in Philadelphia, get the Philly. train wreck for Let's the old train wreck for 280 Brotherly love. That's a brotherly love. Rhode, Rhode Island, anybody? Yeah. Jeez. Yo, come on, people. DJ A Boogie wants to Wait. know. Uh, I want to know. Nobody everywhere. gives a fuck. Yeah, they're like, no, just fucking. They're man. like, I'm not even from Turf the States. It up. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Rhode Island, East Providence, LA she's, Confidential. She's faking so much enthusiasm. She's like, yeah. $400 in Rhode Island. Energy. You go through the smallest state in the country and you're going to get fucked for $400 on some Girl Scout cookies. $400? I mean, I'm sorry, LA Confidential. Uh, however, in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, yeah. you get the Khalifa Kush. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Time. $475. Whoa. Yeah, beach yeah. prices, baby. Beach, beach prices. prices. Hey, you, you love the say? view? You get a free bottle of suntan. You with love that. the view or not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you love the view or not? You get that free glaze, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Did you ever see that? You see that? Uh, you see that interview with Khalifa? I only spoke to Khalifa Kush. That's it. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Well, why am I not surprised? Shit, man. Some boozy shit. But I, I, I respect that, man. It's something to live up to. Your own brand. Of cr- that's all you smoke. I used to smoke weed with the growers. Now I'm best friends with all the growers. No. Never mind. He, yeah. He'll drop my ass now, actually. He's doing all that fucking uh, MMA fighting. So I better yeah. shut up. Yeah, between Waka, I think just, Waka Flocka, Kal- yeah, uh, Wiz Khalifa, they're just going to all sit outside yeah. the studio one day, and they're going to be like, yo, phone homie, we've been watching your show, and you've been fucking dissing us, man. We watch your show every I'm Sunday. I'm not dissing just you guys. To... It's all love. I'm just trying to bring more uh, attention to your guys' names. It's like about brand development. Brand ability. It's love. Yep. It's, 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 it, no, it's not love. It's business. <laughs> They can deal with, hey, they can deal with Mondo outside. Uh, okay, moving on. Uh, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia. Yeah. Texas in Temple, you well, get actually, Jack. no, Virginia. Hold on. Texas, okay. Temple, Jack Herrer, 320. Virginia, Fredericksburg, Sour Diesel, 280. Washington. What? That's bullshit. That's not like bullshit, my man. Come here, come here, come here, come here. My man's got it. My man's got it down the block for 150. 150? You got 150? How much is it? How much How much you get it for? 220? All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those are industry prices. Those are industry prices for high times. We get it. Ah, so that's what's what's going to happen now. Everyone on your box is going to raise their prices to 280. 280, uh, (laughs) Yo, you heard what Phone Homie said. uh, It's stated in High Times Magazine. (laughs) All right, prices are legit over there, man. It's the industry prices. All right, so we got a little bit of question on that. Virginia Fredericksburg, 280 for sour diesel. My man says actually it's 220. He can get it for 220. 220. Is it it fire? Pretty fire. pretty fire. And you know, actually, I'm not going to lie, yo. I'm not sleeping <laughs> on Virginia. Like, there's some fire that comes out of there. It's just seriously in the fucking... It's it's it's, it's way in deep in the yeah. cupboard, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you they're, not, they're not allowed to bring the shit out of the cupboard yet, so... If you know, you know. Uh, Washington State. My homie Chris Crazy. Out in Tacoma. Actually, we got the Mendelberry... Uh, the member... Memberberry for $300. We should call Chris Crazy and ask him if that's true. Uh, Kennewick... Black Dog, uh, 215. Wisconsin and Madison, Green Crack, 275. Anybody for Wyoming? All right, nobody gives a fuck. Uh, out there in Canada, now everybody starts like, yeah, yeah, let's Canada! do it. We love it more than a... No. Uh, in Winnipeg, get the Ghost Train Haze for the Canadian uh, Buckeridge of 290. In Chile, in Coast Santiago. Like 75 American dollars. In, oh. in Chile, in Santiago, Purple Kush. For the 400 uh, currency, and in Greece and Athens, get Fruit Spirit for $380. And actually, Fruit Spirit is not the name of cannabis. It's actually just the name of some ouzo that they have out there. <laughs> I, might go to Can- I might go to Greece, actually. Yeah, slide over to Greece. I want to go to Turkey, man, but I'm just, I'm nervous, man. Like, Greece? If anybody, I'm, Yo, look, Greece I'm definitely ask so the public love. again, if you guys know anything about the laws in Turkey, man, I'm not really trying to get fucking... You know, Arrested smashed out and, there, yeah. huh? Like in a bad situation. Very illegal, probably. Like stiff sentences. Yeah, I don't want to fuck about, man. Yeah, fuck. I want to go there though. I really want to go there. Hold on, want- did you just say fuck about? You already getting in your euro mode. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that was you slid that in there. All right. <laughs> 
I was like, hold on, did he just go all... Oh, did uh, you call me deaf, you muppet? <laughs> you muppet. <laughs> Yo, fuck about... Nah, bro. Right? Only if he's wicked. Not yet. That's next week. Fuck about. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's all I got. Uh, you know what? Let's take it. Let's take a dab. Let's take a dab of this uh, Larry OG seven tenths of We'll close out the show. Is that cool? Awesome. In my motherfucking vein, yeah. I got Oka played in my motherfucking hand, yeah. And my enemies and they gon' bleed to death, yeah. Wrist on underwater and my chain on some sand, yeah. Now I'm gonna get Johnny killing myself. Let me know what the weather for myself. This is something like a baby up a egg. Feeling the tide out, he just had a let. That water that in the bomb with that. Spring water like hell a whale. Look at my look at my Oka face. It's the first thing like okay. Put my chicken jagger down. Take him a baby to change. Get him a baby to change. Take him on my neck on the man. Turn it up and slap it down. Once more, Dapper Man, with Giant Slap, mankind. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in a month.